It heals your body, but this place heals your spirit. It heals your spirit because the people that are here, they laugh and they joke, but they care and they support you. And you learn how to laugh again. Okay, so my name is Edel and uh, I've used the Cancer Support Centre from about five years ago when I was first diagnosed with breast cancer. Now, I had great treatment in the hospitals, but one of the treatments that you get uh, for cancer is radiotherapy. And radiotherapy, the thing about it is that a lot of people don't know is you have to, actually have to go every day. So Monday to Friday. And it's kind of a cold, clinical, lonely experience because there's radiation and so you're left in a room by yourself while these machines buzz around you and bombard you with radiation. A cancer patient, you're a bit sliced and diced and divided, you know, different parts of you are examined and looked at. Um, it's medicalised as it needs to be. Cancer Support Centre have a bus that take patients to radiotherapy every day. And so I took the bus every day and every single day on the way back, I fell asleep. But when we got back to the centre, I came into the kitchen and I sat down and somebody handed me my lunch. Now I couldn't tell you what I ate, I couldn't tell you what I drank. But what I can tell you is the feeling of companionship and support. So that continued for um, the time I was doing radiotherapy, but there was other therapies that I availed of when I was here as well. Things like um, lymphatic drainage, massage, all of the things that start to make you feel like a human again. And I've made great friends. I didn't live in Balnaslow before I got cancer. Now I live in Balnaslow and part of the draw to move to this town, and it's a great town, is the centre. So I've helped out of the centre, I volunteer, I've driven the bus, I've helped make the cups of tea and I've facilitated the breast cancer support group. So it's not just for the time you have cancer or the time immediately after when you're getting over. I'm five years out now, thank the heavens, and I still come here and I still get comfort in this and I get support. Um, it's great for families too. My husband now volunteers, um, my daughter has volunteered too, but my daughter has um, availed counselling services. The centre provides a lot of complementary therapies, but an awful lot of counselling hours. And cancer affects not just the patient, it affects the families. The thing that the centre does more than anything is it looks at the whole person, but it looks at the whole person connected into a whole family and friends and a wider community. It is a community, but it's an open and welcoming one and one that um, the doors are always open to anybody who needs some help and assistance.